Hi, my name is Jane Ludgard Abrams. I'm a painter from Kingston, New York, and I'm very happy to be included in this year's Mohawk Hudson Regional Exhibition. I've lived in the Hudson Valley all my life. I've been a professional artist for over 30 years, and I started with uh, going to College of St. Rose here in Albany, and then I moved back to New Paltz for my Master's in Fine Arts and Painting. So during that time, I was doing very different work. My work was a neo-expressionist, figurative works, very large with a lot of thick paint. And at that time, I loved the work I was exhibiting, but living in the Hudson Valley, I found myself um, in my 20s exploring more, spending time in the Catskills, hiking, uh, spending time along the Hudson River, and I had sort of an epiphany. I found that my personal connection to nature was, was almost spiritual. And I decided that I needed to try to incorporate that in my work. So over a period of time, it transitioned, and I began painting the landscape. And I also was tuned in at that time to the Hudson River School painters, who there's an incredible collection of work just on the next floor above me of their work um, and how they were painting in some of the exact locations that I'd be standing enjoying the view. And it also was remarkable that they there were still views like that, that um, environmental preservation had occurred at least in some places, um, and the hard fights that, that happened to, to keep some of these places looking very much like they did 150 years ago. So that also became a very important aspect to me. And my work um, became, over time, less about uh, portraying a specific location in the Hudson Valley. It's, it's not that I don't um, have a body of work that will be depicting a specific view. Um, the view from Alana, for example, is, is always inspiring to me. But over time, I feel like more and more of my work is about trying to capture the mood, the emotion, the light, the atmosphere, and conveying a feeling, um, conveying ideas that go beyond landscape as subject matter. So it's very much uh, about where I live and the particular light and atmospheric effects that we have in the Hudson Valley, but it doesn't always have to be a specific place and time of day. And like the Hudson River School painters, I sometimes have a composite where I take different aspects of, of different experiences and put them in the painting. So that's how I work mostly is by being in nature, seeing something incredibly inspiring, incredibly moving, and just taking it in, being present with it. And then over time, um, letting it distill, mixing with my psyche a little bit, um, other, other experiences I've had in nature, and then taking it to the studio. So it has that little bit of a filter or veil of time. And interestingly, it, it, it relates to the way that I work because in order to capture these atmospheric, um, particular kind of dramatic light views, I am using a process where I am building up glazes of paint over time. So it, it technically, there, I'm actually creating a sort of veil. And it reminds me very much of probably my favorite 19th century painter, George Ennis, and how that was part of what he expressed with his work, what he was trying to do was convey the essence, this energy of nature.
through the pain. And sometimes, again, I, you know, I'm working with a very specific view, like with, but with Valley Luminous, it's, it was probably a piece um, that I think of now. I had just started moving paint around. So I'm starting in an almost an abstract, expressionistic way, um, where I'm just putting paint down. I'm not sure exactly what's going to evolve. I, I might know that I want there to be a low horizon and clouds and light, but I'm not sure of the details. And I like working that way. And of course, I think that does harken back to my beginnings with the expressionistic paintings and just wanting to get to the fun part of, of moving paint around. And I like to think that I'm painting, you know, what is here now, but also that connection to what has come before. And that string that you know, ties me to the Hudson River School and the landscape that inspired this great number of artists 150 years ago. And it's still inspiring, and it's inspiring to live here. And I think it affects artists on a level that maybe their work doesn't even convey that it has anything to do with where they live, but living here in this region, I think it, I think it really does affect us all. And I am very happy to be able to share this work with you, to talk about this piece a little bit, and tell you that, you know, this particular piece, I was using that landscape and the the light and the being on a high vantage point to get to a feeling of expansive space. That's something that's very important to me or meaningful, um, moves me when I am at a high viewpoint uh, over the river, over a landscape, and I am having that sense of expansive space. And this transient fleeting moments of clouds in any moment, you know, that, that sun that's there will break through. Um, the idea of the light behind the clouds and the emergence of light is also something that's a common theme in my work. So I would like to invite you to come to the museum. I hope that you'll come see the works in person. It's a really incredible, varied show. It represents the range of art and artists in our region. And I appreciate you listening. And if you want to see more of my work, you can find it on the web. Thanks so much. <laughs>